Hello and welcome to the channel. This 2023 Nigeria election be like movie. Now every day different plots and different twists. Today we go here one thing, tomorrow now another one. The one where they ground now be say all these talks of interim national government where them they talk about for every corner. Now plan where they roll in all progressives congress APC on the Department of State Service DSS cook up to scatter the election petition tribunal so that president-elect Bolat Sinyubu go fit rule without Wahala. Nothing we not go here or see for this our ninja. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. Interim government, a plot by APC DSS to subvert election tribunal, says PDP. The controversy over the alleged plot to install an interim government in the country has continued unabated as the People's Democratic Party, PDP, yesterday described it as a covert plan by the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, on the Department of State Services, DSS, to subvert the presidential election petitions tribunal. The main opposition party, which has also restated its opposition to an interim government, describing it as unconstitutional, also charged the DSS to work covertly like its counterparts all over the world to unmask the politicians plotting to truncate the swearing-in of a new government on May 29. But in a swift response, the Presidential Campaign Council, PCC of the APC, are said that the main opposition party was suffering from the post-election trauma. The National Publicity Secretary of PDP, Honorable Debo Ologunagba, who blamed the APC for the DSS alarm in an interview with This Day in Abuja yesterday, argued that the ruling party was aware that it did not win the presidential election held on February 25th. According to the main opposition party, the ruling party is working covertly to suggest that the opposition parties are clamoring for an interim government, knowing full well that both the president-elect, Bola Tinubu, and the party cannot survive the outcome of the presidential election petitions tribunal. The entire idea of an interim government is a plot by the APC and the DSS to subvert the outcome of the presidential election tribunal. Why should the PDP be part of it? We know the PDP won the presidential election. We are at the presidential tribunal to prove we won. So why must we follow all illegal routes? As a party of due process and a party that believes in the constitution of Nigeria, we are in the presidential election tribunal challenging the illegalities that took place on February 25th. Why should we opt for a short option? Look. The idea of the interim government is the brainchild of the APC because they knew what they concocted with the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The APC knew that the election is nothing but a sham and therefore cannot stand the test of time. This explains its theory of interim government with the DSS, trying to find a way out of their whole full rigging. Have you been reading international journals and newspapers and seen how Nigeria has become a laughing stock as well as begging serious democratic nations to congratulate Bola Ahmed Sinubu as the president-elect? If the presidential election was credible, international communities will on their own congratulate the winner of the election, Ologo Nagba explained. He urged the DSS to stop making unnecessary claims and statements, reminding it that as secret police, it should engage in covert operations to unmask those behind the alleged plots to install an interim government. We in the PDP will advise them to emulate their counterparts all over the world. They don't make unnecessary claims and statements. The DSS is a secret police. They undergo covert operations. They are not to be seen. Their actions are secret and are louder than voices. We challenge them to arrest and prosecute those politicians with entrenched interest, he added. Reacting to the PDP's allegation, the Presidential Campaign Council, PCC of the APC, told this day that the main opposition party was suffering from post-election trauma. The spokesperson of the campaign, Mr. Festus Keyamo San, while reacting to the PDP's allegation, said there was no correlation between interim national government and election petition tribunal 
because the invitation comes before the court's decision. He said, there is no correlation between the court and the interim national government because the court's decision will not come before the inauguration. So, there is no correlation. It is a cockless statement. How does it affect it? They are afraid that see what you will lose in court. How does it affect it? The statement does not make sense. There is no logic behind that statement. Except you can't tell me the logic. Maybe I am not saying it, but when you explain the logic better, I can see. But I am not saying the logic. How will cooking up a story of interim national government help the court case? How does it help the court case? PDP, they are suffering from post-election trauma. That is what is affecting them. When somebody is suffering from trauma, there is no logic behind what they are saying. Care more hearted. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, the main opposition party has directed all the state chapters of the party to submit a comprehensive report of the outcome of the general election to enable it to form and take decisions. When asked when the party will summon the meeting of the National Executive Committee NEC, Ologunagba said, at the moment, the National Working Committee NWC has directed all our state chapters to give us a comprehensive report of what happened during the general election. It is only upon after that can we contemplate a meeting of NEC. In a related development, the south-south zone of the PDP has hailed the party over the amicable resolution of the crisis that emerged from the suspension of the party's chairman, Senator Iyotia Hayu, and his replacement by al Aji Iliya Umar. The Zonal Committee has also called for the establishment of a Truth and Reconciliation Committee to achieve lasting peace in the party. The resolutions of the South-South chapter of the party follow the meeting of the Shivdan Obi led zonal branch at the zonal headquarters in Port Harcourt, River State. The party, in a statement issued by its zonal publicity secretary, Bishop Etim Ante, while commending its candidate to one in the 2023 general election, also commended the NWC for its handling of RU suspension saga and the subsequent assumption of office by the deputy national chairman, North al RG Ilya Umar Damagon, as acting national chairman. The zone calls for an amicable resolution of all lingering crises bedeviling the party. The zone recommends the setting up of a Truth and Reconciliation Committee to achieve lasting peace and unity for the progress and growth of the party. The South-South PDP said, following the decision of RU to step down as national chairman, it added. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.